Did you know that Montgomery County, Maryland has its very own version of the German Audubon? Okay, well, maybe not the Audubon, but if you're looking for the most efficient and scenic drive from east to west in Montgomery County, you just gotta check out this video. Hi, this is Kevin Grolig. I'm a real estate agent with Compass located in Potomac, Maryland. And thanks once again for checking out the latest video in my series, Real Kevin. As a lifelong native of Montgomery County, Maryland, I can definitely tell you we're not known in Montgomery County for our easy commutes. However, in most cases, there's usually one exception. In Montgomery County, Maryland, that exception is known as the Inter-County Connector. Us locals call it the ICC for short. The ICC is an 18.8 mile long, six lane toll road that connects Gaithersburg, Maryland in Montgomery County to Laurel, Maryland in Prince George's County. There are eight entrances and exits along this 18.8 mile stretch. Early on, the ICC was one of the most controversial road projects in Maryland history. Opposition to the highway stalled the project for nearly 60 years as it was originally approved in 1950. Proponents of the ICC claimed it would improve the flow of interregional travel from Montgomery County to Prince George's County. They also felt it would relieve traffic congestion on other roads, spur economical development, and enhance access to Baltimore Washington International Airport. Opponents of the ICC claimed it would harm the environment and disrupt communities through which it passed. They also argued that immediate degradation of both wetlands, forest lands, as well as animal habitat would occur immediately. They also believed there'd be long-term consequences from both air pollution and carbon emissions from additional driving as well as more additional suburban sprawl. Through the 1980s and 1990s, the plan of building the ICC was nearly dead. The plan had nearly flatlined until 2002. This is when Maryland Governor Robert Ehrlich fulfilled a campaign promise to build the ICC. Ehrlich began to push construction on the project and eventually in 2006, a formal groundbreaking occurred. With additional support from Ehrlich's predecessor, Martin O'Malley, construction began on the ICC November 13th, 2007. The first segment of the ICC began from Gaithersburg at I-370 and stretched all the way to Route 28 in Rockville. The first section was completed on February 23rd, 2011. The next section was the extension all the way to I-95. This second section was completed November 22nd, also of the year 2011. And the final extension to US Route 1 in Laurel was completed in November 7th, 2014. Once again, there are eight entrances and exits to the ICC. There are six entrances in Montgomery County, which include Gaithersburg, Durwood, Norbeck, Aspen Hill, Colesville, and Fairland. There's also two entrances in Prince George's County, which include Calverton and Laurel. Additionally, there is a four lane Metro access road that runs from the ICC to the Shady Grove Metro. The ICC is not only great driving east to west from Montgomery County into Prince George's County or vice versa, but it's also great if you're heading north and heading out of town. If you're heading north to places like either Baltimore, Philadelphia, New York, or New Jersey, the ICC from Montgomery County, Maryland will probably save you 20 to 30 minutes from traveling around the Capitol Beltway. As a realtor who is constantly crisscrossing Montgomery County, Maryland, I love the speed and convenience of the ICC. From where I live in Gaithersburg, I can get just about anywhere on the eastern side of Montgomery County within 10 to 20 minutes. Heck, some of these locations used to take 30 to 40 minutes. Of course, there is a toll to pay, but you know what they say, time is money. I've been driving on the ICC since its inception. And I have to tell you, I have never experienced a traffic jam or delay of any kind. Traffic is usually light and it moves at a steady and even pace. The highway is also extremely scenic as it winds through many beautiful parts of Montgomery County. It's also important to know that tolls are paid through electronic tolling through EasyPass. 
so you have no worries about waiting in line at a toll booth. The speed limit on the ICC is 60 miles per hour. On a nice spring or summer day, the combination of good weather and good tunes makes it really easy to get that speed well above 60. I will give you one helpful tip. Always make sure to set your cruise control and smile for the camera. There are many electronic eyes monitoring you as well as a pretty heavy police presence. Me, I usually set my cruise control eh, about 67, 68. I lean back and enjoy the ride. So what are your thoughts about the ICC? If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, comment below, or share this video. If you have any other questions about the ICC or real estate for that matter, feel free to contact me directly by text at 240-793-7495. Thanks once again for checking out the latest video in a series, Real Kevin. See you next week.